Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben Hughes. We are the Hush Hush family. And today we are back at the Alton Towers Resort for the Festival of Thrills. And today is actually a special one actually because it's a Smiler takeover. And the Smiler is a favorite ride of all of ours, isn't it, Gio? Yeah. Like the Smiler, don't we? So we're gonna show you about, show you any changes they've made, which I think are gonna be minimal, but we'll show you the queue times and all the things we usually do. And we've, and we've got this thing to stamp as well for the kids, which is great. So you go around to the big six, would be big seven, but Nemesis is closed, and you get a stamp. And then I believe you do something online with it, but we'll let you know that too. So we're looking like a fairly busy day today, and it's the last day technically of the Easter holidays although the two weeks have been up now it's still some schools are open some schools are closed so it'll be interesting to see what the queues are like straight away there's some changes you can see those banners have gone up but again quite minimal so I'm not expecting too many differences here's a look at the different shows there'll be different stages spread out throughout Alton Towers so we'll check out which stages are where but here's an idea of the times for the day Oh, I don't know what these boys are. Let's go and get the smiler, shall we? Some little changes. Ministry of Joy checkpoint. Present ID card. You got your ID card? No, they probably can't hear me. Meet the personnel behind the marmalizer's mind. Manipulation. Oh, that could be quite interesting. Can you fit it in? There. Harder, harder. There you go. Perfect. This is cool. A big beat the buzzer in the shape of a smiler. And I'm going to have a go at this now.
coming away from Exeter now after being pleasantly surprised there actually. It was nice to see everybody getting involved in their shows and of course Gio too. Perfect. He loved it. Did you enjoy that Gio? Yeah? Been on the stage? Now we're heading over to Dark Forest to check that out. I'm not too sure what is over there at the moment, but we'll find out when we get there. So far, compared to last year, they've made so much more effort with this Festival of Thrills in general, um, more so because of the Smiler, but it is nice to see them put that effort into that area, whereas last year it was a bit bleak, it was just stages, so that's exciting. Definitely worth coming for, just that. So let's see what the rest of the day holds. Is there going to be a stage here this year? So we found another one by Rita. That's it. Okay, good, there we are. Some little extra theming. So there isn't a stage down here this year, but we have some little smile bits and pieces. No idea what that is. Cool though, yeah? As the people wanted, tired and stressed out, the Ministry of Joy are here to help. Here with the Ministry of Joy. There we are. You're not that far off. Another 14 centimetres to go. Oh, he's found it. Gone a long way. Go, one more left to get. What's that one? What's the last one? Wickerman. Wickerman, that's right. Let's head over there then, shall we? Are you enjoying carrying the spider? Yeah, it's well sick. Can't believe we got stuck with that all day. One tip, if you're going to win teddies, do it at the end of the day. But if you're going to be gifted spiders, I don't suppose you can do anything about it, really. Let's get to over here. Well done. Six stamps found. Shame there's not one for Nemesis, but there we are. Tag us at Alton Towers and use the hashtag Festival of Thrills for a chance to win an overnight stay. Fantastic. Festival of Thrills last year was a mixture of different stages, music, musically seen stages, spread out throughout Alton Towers. This year, of course, with it being a Smiler takeover, it's very Smiler focused, which means that there is nothing else, anywhere else, really, in terms of entertainment other than by the Smiler, which kind of makes sense. So they've gone all out with theming around the Smiler. Stickers and posters and there's three stages. One with a magician, one with some performing entertainers and another which I think is going to be a bit of music. So we'll have to check that one out next. But uh, that's really what they've done to the Smiler is what they should have done to the whole of the, uh, the, whole of the park for Festival of Thrills, really. Because if you know the, the, the word festival, gives you the impression that it's going to be this big, maybe different thing, exciting thing, but to be honest, as regulars at the park, there really isn't that much different. Uh, there is more different in Exeter, of course, with it being that Smiler takeover, and like I say, if they did that for every ride every year, maybe then we'd have a festival. But of course, we have a great time regardless. We come to check these events out, not just for ourselves now, but to show you, uh, so you know what to expect and whether it's worth coming or not. I'm going to head back to Exeter now and see if there's anything else there that I can show you. Of course, there are more shows or more show times that we've not seen yet, so we'll check those out. Smiley's been on a 60 minute queue most of the day, but that's no surprise with it being a Smiley takeover. It's usually the most popular or second most popular ride here, so to be expected. Single rider queue today, probably worth checking out. That often saves some time, but it's not always what you'd expect, so 
used with caution. Curse of Autumn Manor, be rude not to, it's coming on a zero minute queue. So it's one of the lowest queues today because it is quite busy. But looking forward to this, we do love it. I don't really want to talk too much about the Curse of Autumn Manor because we have covered it a lot on our channel. And if you're more interested in finding out more in depth opinions, you can find that on our channel. But I just want to say, and that was probably the best ride I've had on it so far and I've had quite a few so that's saying something I feel like there was way more effects on that time than what I'm used to and with those added effects brilliant honestly it was even better than what I expected it to be which is great isn't it so again highly recommend that we're here now at the bottom stage in Exeter to check out this show and it's on at 1.45 that's the one we're looking at anyway here's a look at the stage here's Dio looking good Welcome to the celebration of happiness stage. Your host, Felix Elated. Good afternoon, advocates. How are we doing? Felix Elated here, successfully marmalised advocate of the Smiler. Now we want to celebrate with you today. Are you ready to celebrate? Yes. We're gonna have a little bit of a party. All right. Hello. Be good side. Are you ready? So come on. So we decided to have pizza and pasta for tea, lunch, which we've not done before. It's usually really busy, so let's see if we can get straight in, shall we? Plenty of tables, look at that, fantastic. Well, would you look at this? I'm going to walk loads of this down. Garlic bread, margarita, pepperoni, chicken pizza, tomato and basil, Hawaiian barbecue, bolognese. Think of the pizza, and then there's a salad bar over here too. There we go. Plenty of pizza and pasta. Is it good? Yeah. What's your score out of ten? A trillion. A trillion out of ten, oh my goodness, that's a good score. Would you want to be mine, Shane? We've just come out of pizza and pasta, and oh my god, did it impress. We paid £47 for the four of us. That included drinks, pasta, and pizza, and we could eat as much as we wanted, and I am stuffed. I could probably go to bed now, to be honest with you, but value for money, how good was that? A trillion out of ten. A trillion out of ten again, wow, scoring well today. Definitely recommend that. And if the hot dog's £8, we can eat there for £47 for the four of us, you do the maths. Amazing. So we're about at the end of our day here at Alton Towers. Uh, we've enjoyed it. Marks out of 10 for the Smiler Takeover. Oh, I don't know. 7 out of 10. Great in X sector. Pretty bleak everywhere else in the park. Good event. Needs more. Uh, is it worth travelling down here especially for? Probably not. But is it going to make your day a better day when you come anyway? Yes, definitely. And it's definitely worth heading down to X Sector to see the entertainment there. As you've seen on the video, Gio really enjoyed that. So it's good. Probably more so for kids, but there we are. So that brings us to the end of our video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe.